That's my dad. That's your dad? In his young days, yeah. That's wow. my dad. <laughs> he's 93 now. So, but your dad was wolf, wolf yeah, clan. He's a wolf, eh? Yeah, because you, you get the clan from your mother's side, right? Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. mother was a beaver, so. Yeah. morning internet it is nine o'clock in the morning and uh, welcome back to the channel welcome to british columbia canada the summer here lasted very briefly and now i guess this is back to normal <laughs> normal canadian weather i think i'm gonna get some rain today um but let's see maybe maybe it will clear up hopefully it will stay dry though it's also really cold i think that's just because the humidity is quite high so i think it's gonna be a cold day today but let me show you what the plan is. Um, I am riding today to Stewart over here. Uh, it kind of looks like I'm taking like little five minute rides to the supermarket. I am not making any progress on this map, but I can guarantee you that I'm actually <laughs> covering quite a lot of distance. So today should be about 360 kilometers roundabout. And that will actually put me for the first time right here at the border with Alaska because this is also Alaska. I actually never realized that I always thought that Alaska was just over here but this is also um, Alaska so I'll be right here at the border with Alaska. So let's uh, pack up the map and let's go! Whoop, of course! Yes! This lake it is called Lava Lake. It was created because of a volcanic eruption. And uh, the lava flow from that volcanic eruption, I'm hopefully going to see soon. But that resulted in the river kind of being blocked and the creation of this lake. So it's quite cool. But uh, I should be quite close to uh, a place where uh, I can have a look at the lava. It did not rain here. See the birds dry? There is actually blue sky. <laughs> there we go. There's a creek. You can see it starts from here. This is already uh, part of the lava flow. Oh, well, old lava flow. This lava flow is actually the youngest volcanic feature in uh, British Columbia because this uh, lava flow came from an eruption, a volcanic eruption, only 250 years ago. So, relatively recent. And these flows move very slowly, so you can easily outrun uh, a lava flow like this. But the force that it has is incredible. So it can still, even though it moves slowly, it can easily take down buildings. Um, and what not. That's really beautiful, right? It's a bit overgrown with moss. These jagged sharp rocks that you see everywhere here, they're all part of a uh, AA. Ah, ah. It's called AA ah, ah, lava flow, which is a Hawaiian word. Uh, I guess in Hawaii they, <laughs> they know plenty about lava flows. And uh, underneath it you will find uh, another type of rock, which is called Pau, which is much smoother and not so jagged and blocky as uh, Aa.
When lava flows like these, once they finally stop moving, so when they kind of reach the end of the slope, it can take weeks or even months to fully harden. And uh, well, in this case, the lava flow blocked the river, and that's what's now caused to form the, the lava lake that I yeah, just rode past. Let's continue the ride. So the area around the Nas River it belongs to the Nisga people. They have been living on these lands for thousands of years. Right now there are about 2,000 Nisga that live on traditional lands and about 5,000 that live in urban areas of a Terrace, Prince Rupert, I think Vancouver, some other places. And so I see a few similarities between the Nisga and the people from Haidegwai. So for example, the Nisga also uh, used to build their houses from cedar wood, uh, rectangular shaped houses. Oh wow, look at the lava flow here. And they had four different clans. They had the killer will owl clan, the wolf bear, the raven frog, and the... Um, the eagle, the eagle beaver. So those were the, the four clans of the Nisga people. I don't know how you can see it, but this is the water flowing out of the lava lake. And it has this really beautiful kind of greenish color. And uh, that's because of all the, the rocks, the volcanic uh, rocks that are underneath here. Oh, wow. Here you can see the color even better. Look at this. Somehow it does not look like this is usually the case. Seems like uh, the river is, is very large at the moment. It's overflowing through the forest here. What happened there? See, look at this. And this does not seem to be normal. Yes, see? Ooh. It's now right on top of that uh, unpronounceable river, che Cheax. So this is the one that the lava flow blocked and created Lava Lake. Entering Niska lands. Oh, I'm not. I actually don't know if I'm supposed to ride here. So it's allowed actually. Did you see that sign? Sold correctly, right? Yeah, entering Nisga lands. I don't know if uh, if I'm allowed to ride on their lands. Maybe it's no problem. Maybe it is. Um, oh, there's no uh, cell phone reception here, so I can't check online. And I don't know those type of rules in Canada. So I'm just going to uh, find another way. I don't want to disrespect any any of the Niska lands. Uh, find another way, no problem. Look how beautiful and tall the trees are.
Let me see. I'm, I'm going to um, ride a little bit towards uh, Gingolks. Gingolks. Um, which is that way. And then I'm going to come back and go this way. The town uh, New Ayanj. That used to be the capital of the Niska nation. But still the old name. It has a it has a Niska name. But I guess they haven't changed the signs uh, yet. See, and these are also uh, all uh, Niska villages with uh, original names. Gitwink, I'm not even gonna try because I'll feel miserably at pronouncing them. Wow, <laughs> this area is stunning. I had no idea how beautiful it was gonna be here. Really, wow. The Nas River that I mentioned earlier, I'm actually riding parallel to it. It's just uh, where you see all the trees, that's where the river runs. So I can't actually uh, see it from here. You can see it on my GPS maybe, here. That's the Nas River. Kitwingshi, place of the lizards. Ah, look. Here are... Uh, few totems already. It looks like a eagle. That is an owl. Or maybe that's also an eagle. I would say owl. Owl frog. It must have all the the clan signs that I mentioned before. Oh, this is a beaver. See? It must have all uh, all four clans represented. And now I am crossing the Nas River that I mentioned before. See, and there are two, two totems on this side. Oh, there's a person on there. These look a bit newer. Oh, and then that must be Wolf Bear. Yeah. Wolf Bear, yeah. I think that I've seen them all, right? Wolf Bear. Oh no, we're not Killer Whale. I've not seen the spot of the Killer Whale. Killerwill, owl, wolf, bear. Um, beaver, eagle, raven, frog. What an incredible place to live. Oh, there's a church. So the missionaries also came here. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, totems and other arts from the Niska were destroyed by missionaries, Christian missionaries that came here because they saw those as, uh, as idols, as, as worshipping of other gods, uh, which it actually didn't mean that at all. That's a sad part of history. One of the sad parts. It's a big dog. For a second, I thought it was a wolf. Just wanna have a look at this. This is a bridge over the over the Nas River. Let's check it out. Nice and bouncy this bridge. I'm sure it's safe. It's a bit bouncy. <laughs> wow, what a place! What a place! Ah, oh, it's so rugged and wild here. With the mountains and the snow and the clouds and the rivers. Ah, oh, this is Canada, right? Or at least how I imagined parts of Canada to be like. And yeah, right now. I'm right in the middle of the Nas River. Really awesome place, right? You can spot another bald eagle sitting on the rocks. I've seen so many bald eagles in Canada. Unbelievable. 
Never thought I would ever see one, let alone, well, I don't know how many I've seen. More than 10. I'm wondering if that's a little cafe. Maybe I can uh, get a little drink. I was wondering if you have something warm to drink, like a hot chocolate or something. Yeah, you have. Great. I'll have one. They have some books here. Niska. People of the Nas River. Oh, there's some pictures. I understood there are four clans, but every clan has two animals. So like killer whale, owl, bear, wolf. Um, yeah. Eagle, um, beaver. Why? Why does every clan have two I animals? I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering yeah. because uh, because I was before I was in Heidegwai, and I know the Haida had eagle or raven clan. Yeah. Um, but I was wondering why here the clans had two two animals each. Yeah, that's a good question. They've just always been that way that I re that I've been told. Oh, yeah. That's my dad. That's your dad. In his young days, yeah. That's wow. my dad. <laughs> he's 93 now. So, but your dad was wolf, wolf yeah, clan. He's a wolf, right? Yeah, wolf Yeah, because you you get the clan from your mother's side, right? Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. mother was a beaver, so. Yeah. And then our sub tribe is a blue girl. You know the big white, big white whale. Right. Yeah, that's our sub. Ah, okay. The beaver in there. Right. Right. So then, so then, on your like um, house pole, you would have like on the crest that would be part of it as yeah, well. Yeah, it would be part of it. Right. Yeah. Right. We were late this year. What are these? We're looking candlefish. Ah, okay, yeah. We can light them, they'll burn. You can eat them too once you light them. <laughs> <love them. laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> that's the grease, eh? See the grease? Oh, from the fish? Yeah, from the fish. That's all from that boiled up. Eh? Oh. So okay. they'll use about 10 or 12 bins like this, yeah. dump them in there, slowly boil it, right. like 18 hours, yeah. smash it, grind it, and then you get that nice fine gold elephant grease out there. And what do you do with that grease? Oh, you eat it with fish. You eat it with fish, yeah. oh, alright. Cook with it, bake with it. Wow. That's the same thing, sun dried. She was in her 80s too. Right? Right. The ones that are passing. Everybody, yeah. everybody yeah. reaches very old age here, yeah. I have a feeling. Yeah, they live long. Good, and strong genes. Yeah. Because we all eat with right? There's fish, fish. bulletin, blueberry, yeah. eat goat meat, ah. moose, bear, beer, yeah. you know, all the wild. Yeah. Spring salmon, clams, cockles, crabs. Because the ocean's just down there. Right? Yeah. So we eat all I mean, the variety that. of food is incredible. Yeah. So it'll keep you young for a long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you eat the natural wow, food, right? Look at all of that yeah. salmon. Can't go around. Sure. There's our white fish. See his mouth, that's his eye. Ah, uh, yeah. That's his tail up there. It's always there, the glacier. Yeah. yeah. It's open like that. I see it there, yeah. And then if you came earlier, you would have seen the eye and the face of that. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, there you go. Good yeah. bike, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <Probably jump on. laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Bye! Yeah. Good? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Little kid was a fan of Alaska. <laughs> so interesting, I didn't know this, but uh, in uh, the year 2000, the Nishka made uh, a treaty with the Canadian government and they're now actually self governed. So the four Nishka villages around here they have self governance, and some things are still what I understood about the change because for example there is they don't have their own police force I mean it's only 2,000 2,500 people so it's a lot of people but um, yeah they have uh, self-governance so I think it's a very good thing right um, I'm going to continue further down 
following the Nas River for a little bit more until the last Nishka village. And then I'm going to turn around and go towards uh, Stewart's. Oh, I need to tie this one. Oh, a bear. A bear and a little cup. Look. Black bear. Oh. And they're gone. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. I have reached the end of the road here. This is the last Nishka village. There is. Totem. Wolf, maybe? I'm not entirely sure about all the meanings on this one. Incredible. Yeah, have a look at the shoreline. So rugged. So the name of this place, which I do not dare to pronounce, as it's too difficult, actually means place of scalps. So the Nishka were fierce warriors and to scare off any more intruders, they would hang the scalps and skulls of uh, defeated intruders along the shoreline here. So uh, must have been a pretty eerie time. Good thing there are no scalps and skulls hanging around here at the moment. Only some half-sunken boat. Oh, there's a couple of half-sunken boats. to New, Ay New Ayach to get some fuel. I have to get fuel there and then I'm going to continue to uh, Stewart. Alright, let me uh, do this first. I have to have A first. Right, all filled up. Let's go. Let's hit some uh, gravel. That's the plan. Following this 
gravel road through the forest for about 50 k's, 50 or 60, and then uh, I should hit the, the road towards Seward. This is the paved road. Right, last 142 k's to go. Stewart, I'm here, I'm here. Um, oh man, it is uh, 5.30 now. So it was a long day of riding. I did a lot more than I actually planned. This was not 360 k's, but it was oh, 460, maybe a bit, a bit more, 480 or so. So yeah, long day, but wow, amazing. I absolutely loved it today. The scenery was just incredible and seeing the lava beds and meeting some Nishka people and learning some more about them. It was just amazing. So uh, I had a really good day, but um, because it's already a little bit late, I'm going to end this video so then I can just focus on getting myself into a hotel for tonight, warm up, put my stuff down. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video. Historic Hotel Bayview.